I'm Hoagie, I'm a hopper, a little froggy guy With my best pals Bernie and Lauren by my side One day we found a big balloon and when we set it free We jumped inside to fly away Hey, hi, Hoagie! Pyramids of Fiji, my Fuji in Japan everyone doing? <sighs> the air feels nice up here today. Yeah, you know, it does. The breeze started feeling different a while back. Kind of warm, but also cool. And a little damp. Yep, those are balmy tropical breezes. We crossed the equator, and now we're in the tropics. Yes, I'm liking this already. Where are we headed, Floaty? Yeah, where are we going? Well, we're going to Australia, to a very special place in North Queensland. It's off the coast, to be precise. Hey, what's that? That, my fine froggy friend, is the Great Barrier Reef, one of the great wonders of the natural world. And that is where we're headed. Yay! Hooray! Oh! Hey, Lorna, is everything OK? Um, not really. You guys know how I feel about water. Not my thing. But the fish will be amazing in the reef. Yeah, Lorna. We can go snorkeling. What do you say? Think you'll give it a try? Uh, yeah. Maybe not. Well, there certainly is a lot for a snorkeler to see. The Great Barrier Reef is home to over 1,600 unique species of fish. <laughs> Great. Lucky I keep prepared. Uh, but what if you don't want to go? Anything else to do? Beach volleyball, sandcastle building? Maybe you'll get some ideas when we land. Here we are, going down. Hooray! This is going to be so much fun. What a beautiful beach. Yeah, a little close to the water, isn't it? Uh, that's kind of the whole point. Point of the beach, Lorna. Maybe to you. Good morning. Welcome to Australia. Pass forward, please. Oh, right. Of course. My name is Eliza. Are you guys here to see the reef in the center? Oh, yes. Nice to meet you, Eliza. I'm Hoagie, and these are my friends, Bernie, Lorna, and Floaty. Hello. Hello. Do you live here, Eliza? <laughs> no, this is a research island. My dad is a marine biologist at the center here. I want to be one too when I get older. Ooh, that sounds fun. I want to be one too, but um, but what exactly does a marine biologist do? They study and protect the marine life on the reef, Hoagie. Wow. wow! Really? Are there any, you know, dry marine biologists? <laughs> Not really. Oh. We're ready to become marine biologists. Yeah. Where do we start? Well, it takes a while to become a real marine biologist. But around here, all you need is a love of the water and the animals in it to have a great time. That's me. <laughs> Not me. Well, if you help at the research center, my dad will give you a shiny, cool marine warrior badge. Woo! Uh, I really want a marine warrior badge. Me too. Great. Well, I see you're in good hands, so I'm going to head over to the mainland. I need to get the air in my balloon changed. It's getting a bit stale. I'll be back in a bit. Bye, Floaty. Bye, Floaty. Bye, Floaty. Bye, Floaty. Come meet my dad. He'll show you the ropes. It's gonna be a lot of fun. G'day, mates. Kraken day, eh? How you going? Um, I'm sorry. What language do they speak in Australia again? <laughs> English, Lorna. It's kind of our own brand of English, but he's just saying hello and asking how you are. 
Oh. We are great, thank you. Uh, Kraken, um, mate. You make a great Australian already. Oh, Dad, these three are looking to become marine biologists. Um, these two. Are they? Well, it's a beautiful day, so why don't you get your gear on and we'll take you ankle biters out on a trip to the reef. Woohoo! Aw, Lorna, come on. This is going to be so much fun. Maybe if you just try it. I'm a duck, Hoagie. I've tried it. Anyway, it's just that I don't want to get my feathers wet today. I just dried them. It's okay, Lorna. You can ride with me in the glass bottom boat. We don't have to swim. All right, mates. Time to put on your snorkel gear. Rule number one. Always be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Let's go and explore the reef. Ready? Uh, sure. snorkeling at all? No, it's just, well, I, the thing is, I'm really scared of the water. I know it's silly being a duck and all. Not at all, Lorna. I completely understand. You know, I used to be scared of the water too. Really? Yeah, I used to be terrified, but I saw the pure beauty of the coral and the fish and I thought, I can't let a bit of silly water stop me from enjoying this. Yeah, I guess so. <gasps> Wow! Pretty cool, right? They're called flying fish. They use their fins as wings. <gasps> They're amazing! They really are, aren't they? Woohoo! We saw everything! Stingrays, eels, crabs, even a shark. I feel like a real marine biologist. What was that balloon fish called, Nigel? That is a puffer fish, Hoagie. Scared the living daylights out of Bernie, <laughs> didn't it? <laughs> There's something up ahead you might want to look at, just over the shelf. That sea turtle has a piece of plastic stuck around its neck. It can't swim. I'm going in. Oh, that's really too bad. People throw their rubbish into the ocean, and, well, this is where it ends up. Let's follow it to make sure she's OK. Come on, guys. Mates, you're about to witness something truly amazing. Wow, that turtle just laid eggs. Look, there are more nests over there. These are hatching. Wow. Oh, it's so cute. This has got to be a big one. Oh. 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 Aww. Let's name him Stripey. Hey, where's he going? He's headed to the ocean. Now, we can't touch or carry them. They have to make the journey themselves. But we can always cheer them on. Go, 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 no, the other way! Turn around! Yay! Well, wait a minute. Has anyone seen Stripey? He wasn't with the others. He must be here somewhere. We have to go and find him. All righty then. Hoagie and Bernie, you look up the beach just in case he went the wrong way. Eliza, you take Lorna and look over there on the sandbank. Whistle if you see anything. Let's go, guys. Stripey! Stripey! <gasps> I think I see him! Stripey! <laughs> oh, no! A crab has Stripey! We have to save him! Lorna, you have to save Stripey! You're the only one who can! Really? I mean, me? The only one? <laughs> 
too many jagged rocks out there for me. Lorna, I know you can do it. Everyone, how was the day? You should have seen it, Floaty. Lorna saved Stripey, and she wasn't even afraid at all. She really was amazing. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Thanks so much for showing us the reef. It was a pleasure, mates. And we can't forget these. Ah. Oh. Marine biologist. Me too. If you can believe it. <laughs> Hoagie goes to Amsterdam. my favorite city in the world. Would that be Amsterdam, Floaty? It would be, Bernie. Why do you like it so much, Floaty? Oh, take a look and you'll see. Wow! There are rivers all through it. Those aren't rivers, Hoagie. They're canals. And we're going to land in one. So hold on, everybody. Amsterdam. Passport, please. Passport? Sure. Here you go. Enjoy your stay. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. I could spend all day floating <laughs> in the canals of Amsterdam. Well, your name is Floaty. <laughs> ooh, canals are not for me. Know why? There's water in them. Well, canals aren't the only way to see Amsterdam. There's plenty of streets you can take, too. Bernie, Lorna, why don't we take the streets? Is that okay, Floaty? Absolutely. If you need any help, you know where to find me. <laughs> floating, floating all over Amsterdam. Okay, should we go this way or that way? Whoops! Oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay, but are you okay? Are you lost? Not lost exactly. We're just not sure which way to go. Maybe I can help you decide where to go in Amsterdam. I live here. My name is Annika. Hoagie! Lorna! Bertie! Hello! Thank you, Annika. We could use some help. My pleasure. So, have you come to celebrate National Tulip Day? You celebrate tulips? <laughs> we do, oh. Hoagie. The tulips we grow make the whole world prettier. Oh. We're proud of that. Oh. Huh? Huh? What are those funny shoes they're wearing? <laughs> they're called clogs, Lorna. What noisy shoes! Clack, 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 clack. Where is everyone going, Annika? To the town center. On Tulip Day, you can get tulips for free. I was just on my way to get a special kind of tulip for my grandma. She's feeling a bit under the weather today. Aw. Well, what are we waiting for, gang? Let's go! What's that delicious smell? It's called Stroopwafel. Waffle caramel. Very yummy. Where are the tulips? A bit further on. This way. Mmm. Aww. Apple tart. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Aww. Tampos. <laughs> Are these? And those are pa 
puffer juice. Uh, I need a puffer juice. Uh-oh. Hoagie's tummy is doing the talking. They're my favorites, too. Hard to resist pancakes with powdered sugar. Good? <laughs> Heavenly! <laughs> I'm glad you like it. So, are we ready to carry on to the tulips? Mm-hmm, you betcha! Whoa! Wow. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> oh, <laughs> excuse me. So, do you see the kind of tulip you want, Anika? Hmm, not here, but my uncle should have some. <gasps> there he is! Anika! <laughs> Happy Tulip Day to you and your new friends! Hoagie, Lorna, and Bernie, this is my uncle, Mr. Hans Flinkerwutzen. Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. Flinkerwutzen! Whoa! Now I see why you celebrate today! What beautiful. Ah! 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 Achoo! <laughs> Gesundheit, Bernie! Anika, I saved a bunch of princess tulips just for you. I remembered they were your favorites. Oh, thank you so much, Uncle. But I'm not here for me. Grandma Flinkerfootson is not feeling well. I would like a bunch of her favorite, the Queen of the Night tulip. The Queen of the Night? Oh, nay, Anika, you're too late. I just gave away the last bunch. I was just about to head back to the farm. I'm sorry, Anika. <laughs> I guess my tummy mate is late. If I'd known... It's okay, Hoagie. I'm glad you've been enjoying yourself. But I feel bad about it. Oh, wait! How far is your farm, Mr. Flinkerwutzen? Oh, of course! <laughs> I see what you're thinking, little frog. <laughs> I have some Queen of the Night tulips back at the farm. You can ride in my truck. Great! Let's go! Right, everybody? <laughs> I think that is a yes. <laughs> Welcome to my tulip farm. Wow! Tulips do make the world pretty. A windmill? Awesome! Windmill, huh? What do you need to make wind for? Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> it is not for making wind, Lorna. This land was covered by the ocean once. Windmills pumped the water away so tulips could grow here. So, where are the Queen of the Night tulips, Uncle? Maybe you can find the dark purple tulips. They're out there somewhere. No, not this one either. Wait! Queen of the Night tulips! Uncle, I can't wait to get these back to Grandma. Give her my love, Adika. So, everyone back in the truck. Hey, Mr. Flinker Wutzen, what's with these bikes with the big basket? Oh, oh my buck fits. Someone rides, someone pedals. They look like a fun way to get around. Oh, 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 yes. I could come and pick them up at Grandma's with my truck later on. Really? That sounds great. We'll get to see a bit of the countryside. Okay, to get back, take this road to Stationsweg to Hofsleitenswart. Hoofs what the what? Oh, I got this. I'm great with directions. Hmm. Oh, that way. This is really cool. Whee! <laughs> huh? Right or left, Lorna? Right away! Amsterdam's right ahead! 
went down Amsterdam's narrowest street. Come on, guys, we can still catch up. <gasps> Where did he go? There. How did he get over there? Come on. Oh, the flowers. Quick, let's run up and get them. <gasps> What's that sound? That means the bridge is going up. Oh, no, the tulips will fall in and sink. Amsterdam. Oh, oh my. Did someone up here lose some tulips? Floaty! You caught them. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're certainly welcome. But can someone tell me what's going on? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Floaty, meet Annika, our new friend from Amsterdam. We'll tell you the whole story on the way to Grandma's house, Floaty. We just need to get these tulips there before something else. Uh, uh, huh? uh, <laughs> happens to them. <sighs> oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> well, let's get a move on. Special delivery, Grandma. Annika, Queen of the Night Tulips? My favorite. Annika said they'll make you feel better, Grandma Flinker Woodson. Oh, you dear child, it was just a sniffle. Nothing a spot of my special tea couldn't cure, but this is so kind of you. I hope it wasn't any trouble. No, no trouble, Grandma. No trouble at all. Yeah, no trouble at all. <laughs> uh, 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 oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yosemite Valley. A camping we will go, a camping we will go. Hi ho to Dario, a camping we will go. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is so exciting! Camping! And just look at it down there. Whoa! Very wildernessy! I know! I can't wait to get down there! Where's there? I mean here! I mean, where are we going today? <laughs> well, today we're going to America. We're going to Yosemite National Park in the state of California. It's famous for its forests, mountains, and animals. Yosemite National Park. It's going to be so perfect. It'll be so quiet. Maybe just some flowing water nearby. And a beautiful view. Yep, nothing but us and the trees and the sky. Perfect. Well, I'm certainly glad you're excited. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Going down. Okay, that was easy. This looks like the perfect spot. <laughs> Welcome to Yosemite National Park. <laughs> Passport, please. Oh, of course. Here you go. Ah. This looks like a good place to... Oh, no camping here. Wildlife area. But I'm a frog. My friend is a duck. Bernie here, he's a dragonfly. <laughs> so, technically, we are wildlife. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh, sure. Please don't feed the bears. Uh -huh. Enjoy the park. Bye-bye. Bears? I don't like the idea of bears. Me neither. Oh, perhaps we need to disguise ourselves huh? so they won't see us. Good idea, Hoagie. Camouflage. Looking good, guys. <laughs> no bear's gonna spot me now. <laughs> Hi there. Is this your first time camping? Well, uh, is it that obvious? <laughs> Just a little. I'm Luke. And this is my mom, Marlena. Nice to meet you. I'm Hoagie. And those are my friends, Lorna, Bernie, and Floaty. Oh, and don't worry, by the way. If you leave the bears alone, they'll leave you alone. Mostly. Mostly? We love camping. Right, Mom? Oh, absolutely. The smell of the trees, the sky, the mountains. What's not to love? So, if it's your first time camping, do you want to join us? Oh, is that okay, Mom? Of course. The more, the merrier. Camping's always better with friends. Now we just need to find the perfect campsite. Yes! 
The perfect campsite? What's your idea of perfect, Hoagie? Well, a spot that's just ours. A stream nearby? A fresh breeze. A beautiful view. Some cool shade, but some sunshine too. A roaring campfire for roasting marshmallows. Yes, s'mores! <gasps> I want s'mores! Oh, but most important, it needs to be secret and secluded. Just us and the great outdoors. Okay. Well, that's a lot of things to ask for. But there are a few basic rules for choosing a good campsite. Yeah, and we really need to choose one before the sun sets and it gets dark. You guys ready? Yep, let's go. Right, ah. because we are... Adventurers! Okay, <laughs> but uh, don't you have any camping gear? Um... Oh, yeah, uh, floaty! Oh, <laughs> silly me, I almost forgot. <laughs> Are you coming, Floaty? Hmm. Well, it looks to me like I'm going to be able to go that way. I'd better meet up with you further on down the trail. Okay, great. We'd better get moving. What are we waiting for? It's going to be perfect. Uh, camping we will go. something about some rules for a good campsite? Correction, the perfect campsite. Well, yes, there are a few things you do need, like having a source of water, a nice flat area to put up tents, a place far enough from trees to safely have a campfire. Wait! Ooh, this way! I think I hear and smell perfection. Look, no one else is camping here. So much fresh water! And being a frog, I should know. Pardon? It should snow? Doesn't feel cold enough to me. I said I should know. Oh, really? I have no idea what he's talking about. It's Yosemite Falls. Sure, I see the falls. They're beautiful. Let's start a campfire and roast some marshmallows. And it's so loud. What? She, she said, said it's, it's so loud. OK, OK. I get it. You don't have to yell. We can keep looking. Huh. I think it's time for a bird's eye view. Up, up, and away I go. Wait for me. Just have to keep looking. Come on. A camping we will go. A camping we will go. Hi, Holiday. A camping we will go. Wow! Look 
Look at all the trees and the grass. <gasps> it's so, so green. <gasps> Look at these trees. They're huge. I can't even see the sky. These are giant sequoias. They are hundreds of years old. And uh, a little uh, hard to hop uh, around. But nobody is camping here. And look at all the shade. You know, this just might be the perfect campsite. Of course it is. Ooh, it's comfy and great for the back. Uh, Bernie? What? Hang on. Is there something on my face? Oh, hello, little ants. Ants! <laughs> by now. Well, I'm not sure about that, Hoagie. Why don't we look around here? You never know. Oh, yeah. If only there were a sign or something to show us the way. I know, Luke. But we haven't seen a sign all day. I don't know if we'll see one now. <laughs> <laughs> Am I missing something? <laughs> look around you, Hoagie. Hmm? Oh, well, well done, done, Hoagie. Well, isn't that lucky? Yay! Yay! Come on, I think we should head this way. Yeah, come on. Now this is what I call camping. Beans and Franks <laughs> taste so much better outdoors. You bet. <gasps> uh, hope you saved room for dessert. Uh -huh. It should be ready in a... <gasps> a little while. I'm glad you all found such a nice, comfortable place to camp. Yep. A good source of clean water. Nice flat ground to sleep on. A roaring campfire. And all the sights and sounds of nature. <sighs> yep, just us friends and, <laughs> well, nothing's ever totally perfect. We're all together, that's what matters. And it is pretty quiet up here. <sighs> <laughs> Sorry. A camping we will go, a camping we will go. Hoagie goes to Bali. I guess it is fun, Hoagie. <laughs> you know, Floaty, I'm the only one of us that can't fly. Oh, that's true, but you can do a lot of other things, Hoagie. But flying is, you know, flying. <laughs> flying is such a special thing to be able to do. How do you do it, guys? Well, I don't know. I kind of just think up and then I'm flying. Uh-huh, pretty much the same for me. Really? Well, where we're going today, flying frogs are really important. Really? They have flying frogs? Yep. So where are we going? We're going to Bali, Indonesia. Whoa, that is a lot of islands. Yep, Indonesia is made up of thousands of islands. But Bali is one of the most beautiful. And there's something going on at the beach today that I think you're all really gonna like. Wow, there's so many kites. That's right, kite flying is very popular in Bali. I have a kite in here somewhere, will you get it? Um, Swansiastu, passport please. Um, Stuetsu you, uh, of course. Suksma, welcome to Bali. Suksma, wow, even that guy can fly here. Hey, maybe I can fly here too. Hi, how you doing? Nice day for flying, huh? <sighs> huh? What's the matter, Lorna? <laughs> I had a kite when I was little. 
I called him Mr. Squid. I loved Mr. Squid. Until the string slipped from my wing, I chased him, but I lost him. I lost him. Oh, then maybe you should fly this kite, Lorna. <gasps> Thanks, Floaty. In fact, there's a big kite contest going on right now. Great. I'll go sign us up. Yay. This is fun. I'm going down to the beach for a nice cold coconut drink. Okay. Bye, Floaty. Trying. We're registered in the Kuta Kite Contest. Our kite needs to be in the air for the judges at 4 p.m. Well, the only problem is... The new Mr. Squid. <gasps> Maybe we can find a kite shop and get a new kite so Lorna can be in the contest. Great idea! Let's go! And I'm going to find out about these so-called flying frogs. Uh, hey, wait for me! Excuse me. Hi, I'm Hoagie. This is Lorna, and that's Bernie. Hi, I'm Made. Made, so we've had a little accident, and we need a new kite. I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> Can you point us to a kite store? Oh, there are many places to buy a kite. But all the kites in the shops have been sold out for the contest. And I should know, I'm from a family of kite makers. Kite makers? Really? Yes, it's a family tradition. Would you make a kite for Lorna? Sure, my cousin will help us. His shop is just up the beach. Hoagie, Lorna, Bernie, this is my cousin, Made. Wait, you're both named Made? In Bali, we're often named in the order we're born. The first born is Waihan, the second Made, the third is Noman, and the fourth is Ketut. So you're both the second born? Exactly. So, they need a kite, so I thought we'd help them make one. Well, that's great, but I sold all my kite gear for the contest. Look. Huh? Oh, look, it's up there. Oh, excellent eyes, Hoagie. The last package of my famous kite weights. I'll get a ladder. It's okay, Made. I can fly up and get it. Wait, Bernie. Frogs can fly in Bali, remember? Ah! I did it! I did it! I, I, I... Oh. Uh, it's okay, Hoagie. I'll get it. Hmm. Mr. Made, are flying frogs real? Of course! But, but I can't fly. Well, we'll see. We still need lots of other parts, and the kite contest will be starting soon. Can we go to Aunt Nimade's shop? Great idea. It's in Ubud, so it's too far to walk. I'll go with you. Wow! That's a lot of monkeys! Hello, monkey! Don't give him too much attention. He'll think you're going to feed him, and then he won't leave you alone. Okay, thanks for the tip. Huh. Auntie Nimade is not here. Hmm. Uh, perhaps she's around the corner with her Uncle Wayan and his gamelan band. What's a gamelan band? Ga me lan. It's the traditional music of Bali. Listen. <gasps> it's awesome. fantastic. Look at him. He's great. Hoagie, Bernie, Lorna, this is my Aunt Nimade and my Uncle Wayan. The music was great. Ah, thank you, Hoagie. What brings you to Ubud? We lost our kite. I don't want to talk about it. We are helping them build a kite, but we're all out of materials. Oh, well, we can help you. This is most of what you need. You still need bamboo, and a crane's feather for good luck. It's a family tradition. A crane's feather? Where on it? Uh, where do you get crane's feathers? <laughs> Patulu. Then Patulu, here we come. I'm coming with you. Whoa. 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 They're always
always here. But at night, when the sun goes down, thousands of them come here. Why do they do that? No one knows. Weird. So, we need a feather from one of those guys up there, huh? Uh, hey there! I was wondering if I could have one of your feathers. I really think I'm gonna do it this time. And up! I did it! I'm flying! Well, I don't know about flying, but that was a pretty good hop. Ah, uh, it's no use. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm never going to fly. <laughs> Thanks, Hoagie. Great plan. This place has the best bamboo. Hmm, where is it? On that small island. But with the rain last night, there's so much mud. It'll be hard to get to it. Well, if I could fly, I'd whiz right over and grab some. But... No worries. I'll do it. <sighs> I wish I could fly, just like the flying frogs you have here in Bali, Big Made. So, you have heard of the Balinese flying frogs, then? <sighs> yes. I guess I hope frogs could really fly in Bali, because I want to fly with my friends. <laughs> yes, I see. In Bali, in our stories, in our culture, flying frogs are special. They protect us, watch out for us. Yeah, but I really wanted to fly. Almost! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> Got it! <laughs> 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 uh, can't get out! Bernie? <gasps> Bernie! Bernie's in trouble! Can you hear that? Bernie's in trouble! Oh, it's just Lorna saying Bernie's in trouble. Bernie's in trouble? <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> I can't get to him because of the mud. Mud is no problem for a frog. Coming your way, Bernie! Ah. Ah, thanks, Hoagie. No problem. This is all my fault. I'm the one who lost Mr. Squid again. But if I could fly, I would have saved Mr. Squid, and none of this would have happened. Right, and we would have missed this whole... Adventure. Huh? And you're Hoagie. You're perfect like you are. I can fly and I couldn't save Mr. Squid. And I can fly. But if you weren't you, I'd still be stuck in the mud. Oh, huh. I guess that's true. Come on, guys. It's getting late. <gasps> the kite competition! You, but... We hang these over the cradles of babies to protect them. You may not have wings, but to your friends, you're a flying frog all along. Because there's more than one way to fly. Hmm, more than one way to fly. Are they being judged now? I think so. I never even saw the kite when it was finished. Hoagie, you won! Best flying frog! Great! But you mean Lorna won. <laughs> no, Hoagie, you. It's me! Oh no! Sorry, Hoagie! That's okay. I'm a flying frog who really does belong in the water. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like the call? It certainly wakes you up. <laughs> I have this weird urge to fly south. Hey, is that land up ahead? Yes, Hoagie. We're going to see something unique. Oh, and if you're cold, why don't you put on some coats? They're inside. Nice. <laughs> Better? <laughs> Great. As I was saying, Norway is really beautiful, and the town we're going to is called Tromsø. Wait a minute. If we're this far north, Floaty, can it be? Are we? 
Yep, we're going to see the Northern Lights, Hoagie. This is going to be fantastic. The Northern Lights are epic. We better hurry. It's getting dark. Oh, it's dark a lot. In winter, there's only two hours of sun. Well, no wonder it's so cold. Welcome to Trumsa. Hey, guys, look in my storage. <laughs> That's the hat of the four winds. It's traditional around here. Say, this is warm. Mm. Oh, huh? the dog. Passport, please. Oh, hi. Sure. Thank you. And welcome to the Norge. Well, come on in to you, too. Okay, so down this street, you'll find guides when you want to see the lights. Have fun. <laughs> I'm going to warm up by a nice fire somewhere. Got to keep the air in my balloon warm to stay afloat, you know. See you later. Bye, Floaty. Bye, Floaty. OK, so what's first? There's something Lorna and I have been wanting to do for a while. Uh, yeah, come on. <laughs> OK, OK. Wow, you guys sure know how to have fun in the snow. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think you're from around here, though, are you? No, we're just v v visiting. I'm Hoagie, and this is Lorna and Bernie. I didn't know how c c cold I was until we s stopped moving. I'm Berkey, and I think we could all use some nice hot cocoa. Hoagie, it says here that it's best to huh? see the lights outside the city, where it's darker. It also says it's easy to hire a reindeer sleigh to take us. Oh, do you want a reindeer sleigh to take you to the Goo of Sahasa? Oh, thanks. No, we want to see the Northern Lights. <laughs> That's what I meant. That's what we call the Northern Lights, the Goo of Sahasa. My father is a guide, the best kind of guide, because we're Sami. Great, but what's a Sami? The people of the North. We've lived here for over 10,000 years. So I guess you know the area pretty well by now, huh? Brilliant. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Uh, so there's a little in here. Vanessa? Thanks, Ness. Huh? I know it. Very nice. With a big, warm fire. That's all very nice. But do they have something to eat? Oh, yes. They have Verdun's best kaka. That sounds nice, but if you don't mind, I'd rather have some cake. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I said. Verdun's best kaka means world's best cake. That's what I'm talking about. So here's the plan then, guys. A sleigh ride to see the northern lights, then a roaring fire at the inn, more hot cocoa, and the world's best cake. Mm. Wow, sounds <laughs> like the world's best plan to me. Father, this is Hoagie, Bernie, and Lorna. They want a guide to the Northern Lights. Wow, you have a reindeer. Come say hello to Gustu. Oh, hey, hey, hey Gustu. Hi there. Wow, a reindeer. Okay, then, who wants to see the Northern Lights? Me! But we, Sammy, we don't mind the cold too much. Well, after living here for 10,000 years... Yes, that, and my boots are filled with dry grass. Shh, it's a Sami secret. It keeps them warm and dry. <laughs> easy, Gustu, easy boy. Is everyone okay? his hoof. He'll be fine, but he can't pull the sleigh now. But what are we going to do? Well, we are close to a snow cave. It's very nice and warm. A snow cave? Warm? That doesn't sound right. <laughs> You'll see. I'll go make sure it's okay. Birki, gather up anything you might need. You can stay with the kids and Gusto in the snow cave while I ski home for another reindeer. 
can't believe he's going to ski all that way back to Tromsø. It's so far and nearly dark. Oh, don't worry about him. He is Sami and... Oh no! What is it? One of the skis. It must have broken when he hit the branch in the road. Huh? I'll go tell my father. He won't be able to ski back oh. to the town after all. Uh, you okay, buddy? We know you really wanted to see those lights. Uh, I'm fine. Well, I just wish there was a way to help Gustu so we could still see the lights tonight but not hurt his bruised hoof. Yeah, but how? Well, what about a sling? <laughs> I don't think this is working. <gasps> hey, what about crutches? I don't think that's gonna work either. I know. Hey, let's pull him. And he... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm out of ideas. No northern lights, no cocoa, and no world's best cake by the fire. Well, we can have a uh, snow water and a snow cave in the snow. <laughs> well, looks like bad news, guys. Since the skis are broken, I'm afraid it will take me a little longer to get back to town. You're going to walk? Huh? <laughs> of course. It will only take a few hours. Hours? You've come all this way to my country. You have a lovely plan. I want to help you keep it. Come, help me get Goose too comfortable. We can't let Bear Keith's dad walk all that way just for us. It's getting dark, and he'll have to walk for hours. In the cold. I think we need to make a new plan, even if it does mean changing our perfect plan. No more hot chocolate by a warm fire with the world's best cake? I guess not, Lorna. It's snow water in a snow cave with snow for us. Huh. Hmm. Mr. Hennett, we don't want you to go get another reindeer. Huh? We want you to stay. What? But your plan? Well, even if it's snow water in a snow cave in the snow, we'd rather stick together. Oh, that's very kind. Are you sure? We're, We're sure. sure. This is gonna be an adventure. We're gonna be living like the Sami did 10,000 years ago. Fun! Right! Adventure! Thank you for thinking of me. But I think we can make it up to you, eh, Bjorki? A little bit? This snow sure is getting deep, Mr. Hennett. The cave isn't far away now, but it certainly takes longer to reach when the path is buried by snow like this. Can we move any faster? I'm getting chilly. Don't worry, we're here. Look. <laughs> Decided to be roughing it. This is what real travelers do, right, guys? Right! Wow! This <gasps> is amazing! Beautiful! <Whoa>. Please, sit. <laughs> <laughs> this may not be the inn you wanted, but it's comfortable and free. And there's one more thing I have to show you. <gasps> Wait! Is that? It couldn't be. <laughs> it is! We have just enough Virgin's Best Akaka to go around. And we've got nice hot cocoa. Yay! Mm. Wow! That really is the Virgin's Best I'm going oh. to go check on Gustu. It's not the plan, but it's okay, yes? Okay? Are you kidding? If we hadn't hit that branch, we'd never have seen all of this. Yep, best adventure ever! Oh, I guess sometimes you gotta let go of your plan and just let the adventure happen. Kids, can you come out? I want to show you something. <laughs> this has been so much fun. I don't even mind if we don't get to see... Whoa! Whoa. The Northern Lights! <laughs> You know, some local tribes believe the lights were spirits of our ancestors. Others say they're the spirits of the animals. Some even say they're giants who live way up north. What do you think they mean, Mr. Hennett? I think they're a reminder that life is surprising and beautiful. Aww, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. Kind of sums up our Norway adventure. Beautiful and surprising. Hey, I Ho, 
Boogie goes to London. And then Sherlock Holmes pushed a hidden button in the fireplace and the secret compartment was revealed, thus solving the mystery of the missing painting. Wow, that was the best Sherlock Holmes story yet. I'd love to be a brilliant detective like him. Maybe you could solve the mystery of who ate the last cookie. <laughs> I don't think I need to be Sherlock Holmes to work that one out. <laughs> Sorry. Traveling just makes me so hungry. Oh, you know, a lot of the Sherlock Holmes stories take place in London, and that's where we're going today. Wow! Hooray! Who knows which country London is the capital of? England! No, the United Kingdom! No, Great Britain! Well, you're all correct. It's the capital of England, which is part of the United Kingdom, which is also called Great Britain. Oh, there's Buckingham Palace, where the Queen lives and Big Ben. And there's Tower Bridge, and just next to it is the Tower of London. <gasps> Passport, please. Here you go. Welcome to England. See, I told you it was England. Welcome to the United huh? Kingdom. Huh? Welcome to Great Britain. They're certainly very polite here. This is so cool! And old. Whoa! <gasps> and slippery! Oh dear, are you alright? You slipped on my marbles. Oh, I'm alright. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay. It happens. I'm Ruby, by the way. Hi, I'm Lorna. I'm Hoagie. And this is Bernie and Floaty. Marbles look fun. It's a bit dangerous. How do you play? Like this. Have a go. Oh, nice. Let me try. <gasps> Whoops. <gasps> hey, you bird, bring that back. Don't worry, that's just James. He's one of the ravens that guards the tower. They're pretty tame. <laughs> but sometimes they can be a bit mischievous. And they do like shiny things. Grandad, hello. I was just telling my new friends about the ravens. Ah, yes. Ravens have lived at the Tower of London for hundreds of years. Legend has it that the country will be safe so long as the ravens stay. Oh, oh my. my! Grandad, these are my new friends. Hoagie, Lorna, Bernie and Floaty. <laughs> Grandad's a beef eater. Hello! A beef eater? So you only eat beef? <laughs> no, I can eat whatever I like. My proper job title is Yeoman Warder. No one's quite sure why we're also called Beef Eaters, though I do like a nice bit of steak and kidney pie. Mmm, pie. Well, I'm off to the Globe Theatre to see a play. Goodbye, <laughs> goodbye. Parting <laughs> is such sweet sorrow. <laughs> Gee, you don't have to get all emotional about it. <laughs> True enough. See you. So, what do you do here, Mr... Uh, Ruby's granddad? Well... It's granddad's job to guard the crown jewels. They're worn by the queen. Amazing! Oh. <laughs> well, me and a few other people. But he's the keeper of the keys to the jewel house. Look! Would you like to come and see the crown jewels? Yes, yes please. please! Then follow me. And now I present to you the crown jewels. Wait, wait, where have my keys gone? Perhaps you dropped them on the stairs. Oh dear, no sign of them. Hmm, this is a mystery. The case of the missing keys. Just like Sherlock Holmes. You know Sherlock Holmes, Ruby? Everybody in London knows who Sherlock Holmes is. He's from London. Right. Ruby, you and Hoagie look that way. Lorna and I will look this way. And I'll guard the jewel house door so no one can use the keys to steal the crown jewels. That would never please Her Majesty. Come on, the game is afoot. Ha! Huh. 
Right back where we started. And still not a clue. What about those? Footprints. Well done, Lorna. They must belong to the thief. You make a great Watson. Oh, thanks. Come on, let's follow them. We're back where we began and still no clues. Hey, what's this? A feather. And this is where we last saw the keys. You're right. It must belong to the thief. He must use it to tickle people and then steal <laughs> things from them. The footprints seem to stop here. They don't just seem to. They do stop here. Uh, anybody home? Someone coming. I can hear something coming. Huh? It must be the thief. Watch out! Oh. oh, it's you two. We couldn't find the keys anywhere. Nor could we. But we did find a feather that probably belongs to the thief. And we found some footprints to prove that someone other than us was lurking around here. <gasps> Look! For tickling! And he's disguised himself as a cleaning lady. Hmm, clever. Uh, <laughs> guys? <gasps> but guys... Shh, not now, Ruby. The thief is making a getaway. <laughs> he's leaving the tower! Let's follow him and perhaps he'll lead us to his mastermind headquarters. Um, but there's uh -huh. something you should know. Quick, he's getting away! are a master thief in disguise uh -huh. and have stolen the keys to the crown uh -huh. jewels. Oh, hello, Ruby Love. Hi, Granny. Are these oh. your new friends? Oh. Uh, yes, they are. This is your Granny? That's what I was trying to tell you. Are you all playing Sherlock Holmes? Ah, that's lovely. I'd best be on my way now. Going to get a nice steak and kidney pie for your granddad's tea. You can all stay if you want. Lovely, thank you. And sorry about the whole, uh, accusing you of stealing the keys to the crown jewels thing. <laughs> Goodbye, loves. Bye. Bye. I was sure we'd be able to solve this. If only we had found more clues. We only found those footprints. And this black feather. Uh, hey, we didn't know it was a black feather. And we didn't know about those bird tracks. And my missing marble. Yes, a black feather, a shiny thing, bird footprints. <gasps> the raven! It has black feathers, likes shiny things, and has bird footprints that just stop when it flies away. It must have dropped my marble and come back to take Grandad's shiny keys. Hmm. Come here, Raven. <laughs> Look, the keys are up there. We did it. We solved the mystery of the missing keys. Apart from, you know, actually getting the keys back. Leave this to me. I, Detective Bernie, shall fly up to investigate this further. Uh, maybe if you give the Raven something else that's shiny, He'll let you have the keys in return. You can have this. I've got leads. Thanks. Wish me luck. <laughs> ha! Ah! Don't do that. Don't you know I'm a detective? Ha! That's better. Nice, Raven. Ha! Ha! Deal? Ha! Ha! Yeah! Yeah! We did it! We did it! We solved the mystery of the missing keys and got them back. Just like Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And now I present to you the Crown Jewels. Ooh. Wow! Oh. 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 Uh, I think the raven likes...
likes these shiny things, too. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on him. Imagine if he stole the crown jewels. The queen would not be amused. <laughs> <laughs> I can't thank you enough for solving that mystery, kids. I thought I was going to get in trouble. It's our pleasure. It sounds like you're enjoying the picnic, Hoagie. Being a detective is hungry work, but I deduce that this could be the best picnic ever! <laughs> <laughs>